All right, we're still here on the Anosto admin. The next topic is the recommendation templates, basically the design of and visual appearance of the recommendation itself. The first thing that you need to go through is to view what is the embedded recommendation template in your recommendation element or slot itself, which is right here. This is a drop down menu, so if you have more than one template, it will basically expand and display them all. And where you configure uh, the design and the visual appearance happens here on a tab. When I open it up, I have a list of all the recommendation templates available. For Magento, we only have one by default. So let's see what we can find under here. Okay, the first thing that you will come across is basically some easy editor tools which allow quick visual tweaks to the recommendation itself. So what you can do, you can change the number of products that you want to display in this particular element. You can change some other stuff such as how do you align the text, what is the image format for uh, the recommendations, or sorry, the product's image that will be applied in the recommendations and so forth. Everything can be find, found here. And if you have some in-house uh, development resources or perhaps a partner who will handle the design for you, what you can then do, there's two options. You can freely edit the template HTML here. And this is the code that is injected into the recommendation itself, effectively displaying the recommendation in a browser. So what you can do here is basically to edit this code. As you can see, it includes some basic CSS. And when we browse a little bit downwards, we can see the HTML block or uh, section of the recommendation template here. And if, if and when you want to do some fancy and customized stuff on your site to make the uh, recommendation match your site's look and feel. What you can do when I click the template again here, you can, well, you can copy the existing uh, template as new, but what you can do as well is to create a new recommendation template, give it a unique name, and then you simply put in your own code into the text area here. And when we browse a little bit downwards here, here we have all the template variables that are applicable for you to create the recommendation itself. What we use is basically Apache's Velocity language, pretty straightforward to use for any seasoned front-end developer. And then you simply use these variables to output the required informative fields such as product's price, what is the URL, and so forth to construct the actual element. And in the end, once you have basically everything set up, what is visible for the consumers or customers is the stuff as here. So what happens is that in the uh, recommendation slot, we basically put everything into that into that um, module, not only the, uh, the recommended products or the selection, what we can see here, but also the visual appearance and the design into that element, which is again, effectively defined and then injected from Nosto to your site. Hope all this made sense. And this is the, uh, the template section. Let's go through next the preview mode and debug mode, which you will find really interesting and useful when you're doing front end design and development with Nosto.